Welcome to Wabi Gaming, the place where gamers grow. So we do have a really top tier war here. So we are up against El Greso de Politis in Funga. So de Politis in Funga actually means chickens in Spanish. So they are also known as chickens. The chickens are a top six team. Chickens and Gretchen's army are sort of fifth and sixth. So this is going to be a really fun war for us. It is some really good restrictions. So we should be able to get a lot of attack wins. <laughs> Before we get stuck in today's video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button so you can grow in Monster Wood Gems, Stardust, Diamond Relics, Race Monsters, Legendary Wars, and more. I have a cool strat for number one, but it is a little bit risky. We're gonna do it. I think we should be okay because it's a 137 hardy. So this base, Black Feather is gonna be super duper fast. Jelly is going to absorb attack. And if they're running this strat correctly, what they should be doing, Black Feather will go first. Run Flying Spirit, which gives an extra turn to one of my guys, which will be Shelly because Shelly has the extra turn and what i'm gonna do with my shelly is put damage reflect on and then and then hardy will go in and attack so black pepper is 25 7 and the other guys are under 1300 i am going to put rune guardian on as well because i haven't done my gauntlet today yet rune guardian only works on attacks it doesn't work on defense so if you are in a tough war it's a good time to put rune guardian on Okay, even with Rune Guardian on, we still don't outspeed Black Fell. So we will go with that strat where we have Shelly damage reflect. Let's fight. So let's get rid of this first. Oh, he didn't do Flying Spirit. Interesting. So because Black Feather didn't do Flying Spirit, this is going to be a really easy win for us. We do have our Puppet at 148, which is just going to chain Dinar everyone. Amber dust everyone. It's similar to how you do a gauntlet run. Let's freeze you. Check ourselves just in case. Check ourselves again. The only threat here is Hardy, so let's stun him. Why not? So really clean and easy frequent victory there. Okay, next attack, we're going to take on number two, Legend Rider. So we can see that they're running six speed and three team speed. But because we have Rune Guardian on, we will outspeed all of these guys. So I'm going to go in with Linworm and Heinrich as my main deniers. So Heinrich is going to be useful here because we are going to stamina drain a lot, even though they have Mr. Beast Banner, because we also have up seed. All right, so this should be a relatively simple battle just because we can sit here and we do outspeed. Let's fight. Let's see who we get to baby. Okay, we got two, so that means we can single CDA here. Here they are already cursed. I do want to attempt a Possess on Black Feather and Vampire will hit us next. Here we will gamble at Possess and see what happens. So we missed, okay. So I'm actually going to Sequence Bender over to Henrik so Henrik can get two turns here. So we're going to CDA first. So that deals with everyone. The most annoying one is actually Vampira because of the extra turn. So we're going to shock and burn her. Now we're going to revert on Heinrich so he can CD everyone again. I don't remember who has been denied and who hasn't. So I'm just going to CD everyone again. There goes Vampira. We do have to be careful of the curse, but we do have Uriel, so we should be fine.
There we go, a little bit shaky, but a pretty easy three coin victory again. We are going to go against number three, River. So he has four speed on every monster. So none of them are going to be super fast. So I think we can just outspeed him and control the battle with denies. So this is the best team we can come up with. I've got a fast Vampire at 24-6 and a fastish Kodama at 23-2 with Arabat as a team speed holder and just to help support with most of stamina and stuff like that. So all of these monsters are 21, 21, 21 with Linworm going ahead of Tabora. So I think they didn't really set up the defense properly. So let's fight. Start by removing these positive effects. I forgot to check the relics. So there's one more pump seed from damage enemies. I might actually use that up all at the beginning. And there's an eel trance on here as well. So we have to be careful of those. So I'm going to use up the pump seeds first because I do have Mr. Beast Banner. And here, I think the first one I will disable is Linworm. So I won't do that yet because that's going to trigger another 300 mana off. So we're just going to blind Linworm. Here we will CDA everyone and start some thoughts. So that was a mistake, we should have CD8 everyone. That was, that was a big mistake. That might actually hurt us. Quick Sands is going to be a problem here. So this is going to drain the rest of our stamina. And here we will CD8. Charge. Let's poison everyone here. I don't think we're going to survive, but we did survive. So in that case, I'm going to disable Linworm. Poison. And I'm least worried about Tabora. She might click the run though. So I'm going to total blind Kadama here. Got altered. Alright, so that one I think we lost because on our very first turn with Kadama, we didn't CDA. Was a mistake. War. So we're doing pretty pretty good against a top tier team because I think the restrictions are quite quite favorable in this one. So it will be a learning wall. We won't be able to pull that up in, but you know, two 200 coins so far with 64 coins remaining, we should get into the 300s here, I think. And that, that's a really good effort against, you know, like a top top 16. We're going to use the same three combos that we used in our first three attacks, and hopefully we can pull off the win with the third attack that we lost last time. So let's go look for some more 18 coin bases. Okay, so we're going to go up against number 13, Eduardo Kelly. So this is an interesting base. It uses Hyperia, which has a status cast of Megatorn, and it has Miseros for anticipation, and then a super duper fast Lin one. So we're actually going to run a team similar to what we would do in Gauntlet if we were outsped because this Linworm is super fast, so let's go check it out. So looking at the teams, 25-9 Linworm, a 18k Mizurus, and a super slow Hyperia, which is there just for the Megatron. So what I've done here is I've put all team speed on Kadama at 18k, and all team speed on Aerobat at 15k, and Vampire is 27k. So Vampire is going to outspeed this Linworm here, and Mizurus does have anticipation, but Mizurus can't do anything really dangerous to us, even with that anticipation. So we're going to remove the Megatron, and then start blinding Linworm so Linworm can't get his first attack in on us. And after that, Kadama will go to work with Stamina Dread. So let's fight and see how we get. Remove that. What's Mizuru's gonna do? It's just a little bit of damage, not a big deal. Who do I want to start damaging? I will start damaging Mizuru's first, I think. What is that immunity? Possession, Nightmares, and Bleed. Okay, so we'll bleed someone else. That's the recharge. And now we can get rid of the anticipation. Actually, we're going to blind Linworm first. Okay, so our robot is getting a little bit low, which is a little bit dangerous. So let's get rid of all the stamina. And here, I think we'll CDA everyone. That was a waste of pump seed stuff. Oops. So here, I'm going to... I'm in two minds. If I deal with Mizurus or Linwa first, I think I will deal with Linwa first and just keep Mizurus dd 8 
There we go. Pretty clean, frequent victory done. The Ago still has 18 points, so we're going to take him out. So this team is actually a quite a common defense team. I use this team on defense as well, except I have one beta for Shelly. That is a Talonese Mask and a Jazzy and a Wangzhou Shield. So we're just going to go in with a very similar team, I think. Okay, let's check out our speeds. 26, 25, 7. And that does outspeed everyone. So we're going to trade disable with Tabora and then have Heinrich CDA everyone. And that should do the trick. Let's fight. We are going to lose stamina here. I'm going to positive protect so Tabora can't try to disable him. And let's start cursing. The most annoying monster here is Kadama, so I'm going to start putting some torches on him. Dust. I'm going to CDA Tabora so he can't heal. Let's put this on just to help. So pretty easy frequent victory, mainly because we just outsped them. Last battle will be against Steven Taijuan. So he has a fast Tabora, a fast Linwin with Kadama as support. So again, we will outspeed this team. Okay, so let's check out the speeds. Tabora 25.9. And a fast Tabora isn't scary because a fast Tabora can't actually do that much to us. And a Linwin 22.4 and a Kadama 14.9. So my Linwin outspeeds Tabora. So I'm going to go in and attempt a baby off the bat and see if that works. If it doesn't, then Tabora will do what she does. And I'll follow up with Avaro Papu to deny whoever didn't get denied. So that's fine. Here we go. We've got your under here. Let's freeze. We missed, but we stamina drained, so that's fine. And here we will possess and see who we get. So we missed the Linwon, which is fine. So we are going to hero Linwon. Recharge here. What did he do? Did he do a free death countdown? I think that's a single free death countdown. Okay, interesting skill. Dharma can do something, and I don't want Kadama to do anything. So I'm going to sequence bend over to Varapapu here. Immunity to possession corruption, so I'm gonna stun. The stun miss, but the stamina drain hit. I'm gonna do Tabora so that we can finish him off. That's a problem because I'm gonna lose Barrow Puppy here. Ah, oh, the free death countdown. So, what I did wrong there was I was lazy and I didn't change my runes on Barrow Puppy. I should have put all. Stamina's on him, or stamina mutants on him. So we may lose this now. We'll see. Once they're able to get in a chain tonight, it's really hard to come back. Alright, good game. My bad. So we probably should have got 18 coins if we were a bit more patient, but we also had a couple of brain parts. So it is what it is. So this will be a learning war for us. Hopefully we can get across 300 coins. Good war, good learning war, good luck classic for the rest of your attacks. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, make sure to subscribe and share with your friends so that they can grow too. And I will see you next time.